All right, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Steam Deck video. Today's video is going to be a very interesting one because what you're seeing right now on the screen should not be possible. This is the Assassin's Creed Shadows benchmark tool running on the Steam Deck. Why am I saying it's not possible? Because the game on the Steam Deck is supposed to be locked down and you're not supposed to have access to this tool. You're not supposed to be able to change the different levels of upscaling for either FSR, XCSS, or TAA, or even FSR 3.1, um, as I have here. Um, now, what I'm showing right now is the performance-based level of these upscalers and the comparison between them. And the reason I'm able to do that is because somehow my game got broken. And what I mean by that is that on the Steam Deck, uh, every other creator you see that has made a video on this game does not actually have access to this benchmark tool. They don't have access to any of these options. Uh, they're not able to change the level of upscaling. They're not able to change any of the graphical settings. They're all locked down on the Steam Deck. And you can use whatever commands you want to trick the game into thinking you're not playing on the Steam Deck. Regardless of that, it will be locked down. Um, it, it seems that Ubisoft have done this in order to achieve a stable performance of at least 30 FPS on the Steam Deck so they can get a verified badge uh, and they have heavily locked down the settings so that players do not tamper with them and basically they've done it so that you can have a, a good experience because out of the box this other version that I'm playing right now will not run at 30 FPS and this is because when you set for example FSR upscaling to performance mode this will drop down the resolution to about 33% of the original resolution. Um, this is by default, so performance mode by default on FSR will only drop the resolution to down to 33%. Uh, and this other version that Ubisoft is forcing on Steam Deck will actually drop the resolution down to 15%. And uh, this is how they're actually able to uh, set the game to about 30, 31 FPS. This is why you're going to see everybody else playing at 31 FPS on the Steam Deck. Now, um, how am I able to do this? Well, I can't really tell you because what happened is that I actually had a subscription to Ubisoft Plus. This is their subscription service where you can play their new games without actually paying for the games. You just pay for a monthly subscription. Um, I had this subscription as a part of a video I'm working on uh, testing all of the Far Cry games for Steam Deck. So when the game was about to be released, I saw that it's coming out on Ubisoft Plus a few hours before it's coming out on Steam. Uh, and I had this idea to, to test it so I can make uh, a video out or, or, or not fast. But I ended up going on vacation, so I didn't have time to do that. But on my Steam Deck, I had both copies of the game. The Steam version, which I bought, was on my internal uh, SSD on my OLED Steam Deck. And the Ubisoft uh, subscription version was on my SD card. And anytime I launch it, even if I launch it from Steam, it would launch the Ubisoft Connect version. As you can see, it has a lot more options. I have display and scalability options and I can change a lot more stuff than anyone else can do that on Steam. If you go right now and you download Ubisoft Connect on your Steam Deck and you install, if you bought the game on Ubisoft Connect and you try to install it from there, you're still not going to get this version. You are going to get the Steam Deck version. So I'm not really sure what happened there, how they got mixed up and how I'm able to access all of these options. But regardless, even if I can, it's not a good thing. So the unlocked version, I had a hard time trying to mimic what Ubisoft have done with the Steam Deck version. And uh, I wasn't having a, a very good success of trying to run it at 30 FPS. It would always drop below 30, around 24, 27 FPS. So I ended up deleting the Ubisoft Connect version. And uh, I tried launching the Steam one, and again, it would launch the, the unlocked one. Um, so what I, did, uh, what I ended up doing was fully resetting my Steam Deck in order to, to get the normal locked version. Now, this may seem stupid, but the normal locked version, for once, uh, actually runs as intended. It runs pretty good. I normally am not a fan of developers locking down some of the settings for the games. But I gotta say, this is for the best, really. It's for uh, you to have a better experience. Now, other than that, the game, I think, runs pretty good. It will run at 30 FPS locked for about 2 hours and 45 minutes on the OLED. And there is an option for frame generation. Now, I know everybody's going to come out with the pitchforks in the comments about frame generation. But 
if you actually set FSR to 15% resolution, to minimum 50% resolution, maximum 25% resolution, and if you enable frame generation and you lock down your GPU clock, so it definitely have to lock down you have to set up a manual gpu clock of either 1500 or 1600 megahertz and you're gonna get a really really stable experience with frame generation at 45 fps capped now currently i'm not able to cap it because i am recording this with my external capture card but if you do cap it as 45 fps you are gonna get very very minimal input latency it's pretty much unnoticeable and you are going to get a very, very stable experience. And I think this is pretty good. It's a pretty good experience for a modern 2025 game. Unfortunately, the game is not very well optimized. It doesn't even run that great on my 3070. It barely runs at 60 FPS on my 3070 at 1080p. So there's definitely some more optimization that Ubisoft can do here. But other than that, I think it runs pretty amazing on the Steam Deck. Even if you decide to run it without frame gen, at 31 or 30 fps it's still it's still a pretty good experience and um, i gotta say even with all the hate towards ubisoft for all the controversies with this game and with their other games they have done a really good job at giving you a really stable experience on the steam deck so yeah this video was a little bit different more of a rant uh, than a structured video on how the game runs and i know i'm a bit late with the party but I had a very interesting discovery with these key versions of this game and I hope you found it helpful in any way. Unfortunately, as I said, I don't really have the formula on how to get the unlocked version. I think it happened by chance and to be honest, I think you should stick with the lockdown version and just enjoy it as it is. Uh, it is a pretty good experience as I said and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like and comment if you're enjoying Assassin's Creed Shadows on your Steam Deck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.